Hi, this is my old wireless router. It's a Linksys E900. If you have followed my videos, you might remember that a long time ago I accidentally damaged its internet port. So this port doesn't work anymore. And I made a video and showed how I can still use it maybe as a switch, access point or even a repeater. But something inside me tells me you can still use it as a wireless router. But how? Do I have to tell you everything? Remember, you installed DDWRT on it? Oh yeah, I remember. I even made a video about it, but... Ah! First of all, let's talk a little bit about the difference between the LAN and WAN ports. The WAN or internet port connects to the internet service provider side, which is usually a modem. And then it gets an IP address, which again is usually a public IP address. The LAN ports, on the other hand, are going to be connected to the devices within the local area network, such as PCs, printers, and etc. These devices usually receive a private IP address from the DHCP server on the wireless router. So now it's the job of the router, which is also the NAT device here, to connect the local area network to the wide area network and vice versa these LAN ports are actually separated from the WAN port and this was done by using VLANs. VLANs or virtual LANs allows us to divide a physical network into logical segments as if they are actually separate independent networks and when necessary a router can be used to route and connect these VLANs together. So in my wireless router here the LAN ports are on VLAN 1 and the WAN port is on VLAN 2. So now if I remove one of the LAN ports from VLAN 1 and add it to VLAN 2, I should be able to use it as my internet port, right? So that's what I'm gonna do now. But unfortunately, the stock firmware on this wireless router doesn't let me make this change. And the good news is if I install a third-party firmware such as DDWRT or maybe Tomato, then I should be able to make this change. But before I start, I just want to say that in the DDWRT firmware, even though the web interface gives me the option to add and change VLANs, but for some reason it doesn't seem to work fine. And if I want to make sure that it works fine, I should do it in the command line interface, not the graphical user interface. In the Tomato firmware though, I was able to successfully make all those changes in the web interface as well as the CLI. And the CLI commands are going to be very similar to the ones in the DDWRT. So for that reason, in this video I'm going to use the tomato firmware to convert the LAN port number 4 into an internet port. So when I log into the web interface I should go to the advanced tab and then VLAN. As you can see here ports 1, 2, 3, 4 are assigned to VLAN 1 and the WAN port is assigned to VLAN 2. So all I need to do is to remove port number 4 from VLAN 1 and add it to VLAN 2. So now if I save the page, the wireless router will reboot and afterwards I should be able to use port number 4 as my internet port and connect it to my modem. I can also make this change through the command line interface. So in order to access the CLI, I should either telnet or SSH to the wireless router. I'm gonna use PuTTY which is a free telnet SSH client software to connect to the CLI. If I type this command, it will show me the VLANs and also the ports that are assigned to those VLANs. So you might have noticed that the port numbers here are different from the ones written on the wireless router. These are internal ports and this is how they map to the physical ports on the wireless router. Okay, so now I'm gonna use this command to remove port number 3, which is actually the physical port number 4 from VLAN 1 and then use this command to add it to VLAN 2. Alright guys, hope you liked this video. I also added some information in the video description. Things like the commands I used in this video and some information in case you want to know more about using VLANs in your wireless router. So definitely go ahead and check that out and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I see you next time.